<laughs> it's not click and drag. Alright, whatever, no images. We'll just screw the image. Yeah, but well, you already have an overlay. Fuck the image, huh? But it has Yuki. Anyways, so... Technical difficulties aside, me getting locked from my own XSplit account aside, welcome to D-Rank's Team League. This is like season 5 now, aren't we? Yeah. Yay. I don't think, I don't think you cast anything this season. I haven't, because I've been too lazy, and I would have rather too, play CS. You've been uh, going too much. I would rather play CS. What was the first map Fighting Spirit? Oh my god, I didn't even check. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. My game was the first one, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, your game. Yeah. Who are we against? Suncon. Suncon. And who is this guy? Anyways. So. I think he's new. Anyways. Oh yeah, that's true. Suncon did have to get a lot of uh, new guys. So, in the top right hand corner as the teal zerg, we have, we will put him on the right side. Wait. Yeah, you are on the left side, okay. Yeah, we have the caster. Gao. Shuriken. <laughs> Cal. Shuriken. Powerful zerg. Hates protosses. And gets shanked with the only Protoss that uh, Suncon actually busted out, which is kind of cool. Uh, so, in the top left hand corner, we have JJWHG. Oh, I didn't even, I don't even know where the hell I typed that. JJWHG. Hey! Refresh. Awesome. I'm just gonna call him JJ. And he is already doing, like, the best build Protosses can, like, muster out I'm gonna, like remove a preview yeah pretty much he, lo he looks like he's gonna go proxy 99 did you expect him is... did you expect him to do something cheesy or no oh. proxy 99 is pretty much like the most super aggressive build you can do it's like the best build I beat birdie with that build and he now claims he has like C level or C minus ZVP yeah, no, I... So that must mean my PVZ is like C level then, or something like that. So that's well, like that, that doesn't awesome. say much because P is pretty easy. Yeah, you just make zealots and you A move, yeah. right? Like one A and you just win. Oh, I haven't even played StarCraft. I was actually thinking. Oh my god, look at this! You have like a drone perfectly cross scouting this. What? Wow, what dirty hacks! Are you gonna cancel? You should be canceling your hatchery, right? Because no. What? Why uh, do you not cancel your hatchery? Against, uh, two or not. Gate. I, uh, I think, um, 12 hatchets the best, even if it's 9 9. Just means you have to bring more drones. I guess you can use, like, the creep at the bottom to, uh, build something <laughs> colonies and stuff like that. Yeah, like, as soon as the hatchery finishes, you just gotta throw down a bunch of, <clears throat> a bunch of skin colonies, and you gotta fight your drones. I mean, you gotta fight with uh, against the slots with your drones and links. Wow, this drone even killed the freaking probe. What a scumbag drone. And tonight says PvC is not easy. Says the guy who won space. <laughs> so easy. Uh, I don't know. I've played ZVP, and ZVP was pretty easy. Isn't that why, like, the, uh... Actually, I'm not even gonna say that, because it comes right back. It'll come right back biting at me. Because if I mention... ZVP being the favorite matchup, I'd get like shit on by TVZ being the favorite matchup. Well, yeah, TVZ. Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. Like it's if you know how to. Oh, these drones! They're gonna die. Uh, lost one drone. Got a couple more. So why can't these zealots technically? I guess it's because they're fighting. Oh my god, they're just killing all the zerglings. Can't they just go right up the ramp and they'll kill you? Like, he'll, he can just, like, send one or two zealots up the ramp, right? Yeah. You know, normally when you're doing, like, two-gate aggression like this, you can oh, just there he goes. send one zealot up to the main and then have the, re have the rest, like, yeah, do other shit. The rest just, like, or, rally up and kill stuff. Or you could do, like, send all of them into the main and have two block the ramp. And, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty neat. But it looks like the uh, zealots were a little too made of paper, and so managed to hold that off with relative ease. Uh, the guy didn't actually rally, or JJ didn't actually rally a lot of zealots, or at least 
It didn't feel like there was a lot of zealots. There's only like three, and then these two are just kind of straggling behind, and they're just like, oh, now he's kind of screwed. He's gonna lose his gateways. He has like nothing to defend with. Like, he's kind of trying to build a forge now. I guess to try and like at least cannon up his main to like turtle. I don't see how Protoss can come back from something like that. Yeah, usually if you proxy the two gates and you lose the proxy, it's really impossible to come back. Because, yeah, well, actually, yeah, you didn't even kill alternatively, the though, if you two gate and it's not a proxy, like, if it's in your natural or something, or oh, your main, and then the you defend the two gate, then it's like, you just expand behind it. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. You can actually just do it's that. It's so scumbag. It's like, oh, didn't work out. I just expand. And, uh, yeah. And then the Zerg is still behind because they made all those Zerglets and whatnot. I wouldn't say they'd be so behind, but wouldn't they just be like yeah. at least even up? Well, oh. they force, they, you force Sunkins, you force GG! Them. Oh no, decline. GG! My friend is calling me. That I think a couple of people from IRC might know who, the, who he is, but I'm in a call. How do you do that? Do what? Oh, in a call, so can't talk. You can watch though. Oh. Huh? Oh, he's my friend from university. Um, so, that puts Courage up 1 0. I'm saying that as if I don't already know the score, but I just pretend I don't know the. Hey, it, it also shows my. Um, it shows the uh, lobby now. Oh, cool. It draws in here. He's only C. What a scrub. Anyways, on to game number two. On Pamir Plateau. You're not supposed to find the game. I didn't make it yet. This guy. This guy. So what happened? Uh, I don't want to talk about this whole secret. Is my mic not fucking working? Is this. Is. Does Gao not. What? I'm pretty sure he's. He this. Oh, Sentinel's just being a jerk. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, maybe he just tried, he just probably just tuned in and then like I was the only one talking. Anyways, on to game number two on Pamir Plateau. I don't even know who's playing. We'll find out when we get into the game. Ooh, I see Terrans. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, he's on the other side. Oh wait, no. So in the top left hand corner, as the blue Terran, we have Oh Moy. Oh moy, yeah. oh moy, oh moy, oh moy. If you had an I instead, it'd be quite heavy. Um. Anyways, so he is spawning in the ten o'clock position this time on Premier Plateau in the bottom right-hand corner. Yes, right-hand corner. As the white Terran, we have Courage's new pickup for this season, Red Axis. The uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what to say about Red Axis. Uh, except he's I Korean. Know. I guess that's all you he's really Korean. need to know. That pretty much makes him pretty good. So, and that well, he is. He is actually quite good indeed. Um, yeah. Omoy again. I think another new pickup by Suncon, because they had to re basically restart. The only two in Suncon that are still like originally Suncon is like Pebble and XKCD, right? Yep. Oh, okay. The well, rest are drafts and picks. It's pick nice. Up. It's nice to see uh, new people coming into the league. Definitely. Because yeah, where would we be? We'd be like at a much smaller community without these people. It's also nice to know that the new people actually show up as well. For some reason, there's some times where like new people sign up and then they just never. Like, they just don't show up. Well, yeah, that's true. I was gonna say something, but I I won't. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about the stutterings. This, uh, oh, anyway, so this map is Premier Plateau. It is quite a... Uh, apparently, it's a Terran favored map. I'm not, I don't really see it, but D ranks people will see it, it as a Terran it's, favored. It's, it's because of the wrap outside the map. And so everybody is going to like bust out the Terrans. Like if you look at the ramp outside the outside the natural or whatever. 
uh, siege tanks can set up a really good contain. That's true. That is and true. And if you watched, no, you weren't watching. If no, you, I don't watch anything. If you watched uh, XKCD versus some other Terran, XKCD basically had a killer. Was that this week? Uh, yeah. Oh wait, no. That's yeah, probably no. Week. Are you talking about? Are you talking about you just like staring, like constantly stalking XKCD's stream? No, no, I casted this. Oh okay. Oh look, Omoy apparently. Oh no, he found out just just as I was about to point so it basically, out. Basically, you have like a tank like concave right That's outside true. on you the can, ramp. You can like easily contain here with turrets. Yeah, I, can you actually. Oh yeah, you can build on this area too. Yeah. A couple. And then you can build at the third area. A couple of bones you can't build. Sides with turrets and they can't bust out. Except for if you don't build enough, like in XKCD's game. Apparently five, uh, five dropships can sneak out, even though there's like four or five turrets. And uh, it's interesting to see what red axis. Oh look, he's just gonna go double fa two fact. Just as I was about to see, like, what is he gonna go? Is he gonna go vultures? Apparently he likes. To, he has this really scumbag uh, vultures, two fact vulture. You don't keep guys on that on gas. Um. It depends. It depends if he wants more gas. Uh, he needs at least 200 if he wants the two upgrades, I think. And then, uh, yeah, I no, actually I don't know what he's going, but eh, you never know. People might also forget. Um, on the other hand, apparently Red Axis is not as strong TVT as I once thought he was. I, like, practiced with him TVT, like, a while ago during the uh, Individual League. Didn't he lose to... Uh... I don't know who he lost to, but basically, he, I think he was about to play some Terrans. Oh, he was about to play Miss Click, and he asked me for practice. So I was like practicing with him in the group stages, and he like shat all over me. And then for some reason, when he went into like the higher individual, like into the bracket stage, bracket stages, like I started like just destroying him, and I was like, I don't, I don't get this. So it, like made no sense to me. Some nice Vulture Micro. Uh, Omoy yeah, trying to do the, uh, down. trying to do the vulture push, but did not work very well. The vulture actually was a bit late. He, if he kind of, uh, coordinated that at the same time, he may have done a little bit more, like, actually kill one of the vultures, but, man, that high ground is pretty good. Actually, how many, how many marines did he send? Three? I think three. Uh, and Red Axis defended with one. Oh, see, look! Oh, look, what a, I called it. He went vultures. And he's but still sending... Piled on. Stockpiled a little bit. He pulled one guy off gas just because he probably wants. I don't know. I guess just in case of a two port. Oh yeah. Oh, he's going for siege next. So it doesn't look like he's gonna. What do you mean? He's already op He's already got the other uh, vulture speed upgrade. That's why he can oh, get siege. siege. Yeah, because yeah. he's already got speed upgrade. So he's gonna like follow up with uh, siege uh, contain. So he's not going to spam. Well, he's not gonna go pure vultures, but he is opening with vultures. And it's actually a decent amount of vultures. They are uh, trying to force their way up. Uh, yeah. But the tank is running back just in time oh, he's not to defusing. not trigger the mine. Oh! That's, oh. oh. That tank has 3 HP. Ooh, that one mine was if, just... If these vultures keep coming, and he loses that tank, and he keeps streaming, or if he gets, if Red Axis makes a tank, this could actually get dicey. He needs to mass repair that tank, but it is good that he's uh, keeping it there, but... Uh, the tank actually can't go any more down. Uh oh, that's not good for the tank. Oh, I hate oh this God. feeling. Oh, oh no! God. Oh, oh <laughs> SCVs! Is that only one? Oh, there's only just one vulture. It's like all this white stuff, and it's just all mines. He had two vultures, and then he managed to kill like. But again. wow, Amoy actually somehow has three factories. Well, he got three factories really, really fast. And he also has an expansion up really fast. So if he holds this, which he did not too bad of a job at holding and he just I think you can just pump vultures right now and then he can uh, yeah. hold this because vultures aren't gonna trigger the mines and then yeah you can like once you've stabilized you can have tanks help you defuse type of thing I'm right not sure if he actually did enough damage oh uh, that's some well actually yeah like that one mine drag oh no oh no don't let the vulture in no kill it kill it yeah, yeah, yeah. why am I cheering for the other guy whatever <laughs> Cause like if you think about it, like uh, Red Axe or Omoy's expansion is still up, and he still has a decent number of SCVs, and he has the same back count. 
sort of. He actually has one fact more, at least at the moment, and all yeah. three should be able to pump out vultures. One's pumping out a Goliath for some reason, but oh wow, he got scan already too. Holy crap, this guy is really good. Yeah, so he has like double scan and three factories, which is pretty good. Like he didn't lose that much compared to the economic sacrifice that Red Axis had to make. I'm not sure. It was about almost. Was good yeah, it was about almost like I'd say a fair trade, even better actually for Amoy because his expansion actually already came out. Yeah. If uh, Red Axis went fat poor, it actually would have been a lot better. Uh, I feel so hypocritical to be like, I'm never gonna use fat poor, and then now all I open is fat poor. I told you, it's. it's I don't it's know why I never used it before. I don't know why I never used it before. Cause, cause your reasoning was, I don't, you don't want a one base. You want to do all this like fast expand shit in TVD. I'm actually greedy with my fact port too. Like right after I get the port, I will like drop down that command center as soon as possible. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I always thought of it as like some sort of an all-in type of thing. Like cheese, yeah, it's not. It's not. Even though it's, it's like, oh wait, I can't even go all in. I don't have enough. I can't pump out enough stuff to make to go all in. Yeah. Meanwhile, this this barracks of red axis is just flowing through the base, seeing everything. <laughs> oh, Elias. Oh my god, what happened here? All of a sudden, Red Axis just has like a million vultures, and where did all of Omoy's vultures go? He's been pumping vultures nonstop, but Omoy has been like cutting units, I guess. I guess he wanted more I of Oh, I guess he was trying to get a star port. What? I look away for like one second, and like Red Axis is just like. 1A vultures. I actually, I actually not, not sure if he can come back. If these vultures just plant mines at, outside the factories. Oh, it's already. Like, oh, man. This could get really nasty. I feel like they should just be like... The yeah, vultures... They should have planted the mines at the, at the factory and, and just then just go, go for the line. SCVs, yeah. yeah. Red Axe is not showing very Korean... Uh, not very Korean floating, APM. Like not, so. not very Korean APM. Wow, see? Okay, this is also what I don't really like about mass vultures, and then you just, like, mine up the place. Like, the mines just kill your own vultures. <laughs> and, like, your vultures yeah, are dead. You're supposed to have enough APM to, like, move your vultures af away after you plant the mines. Red Axe is also... Oh man, he's just pumping mass vultures. What is he even using the gas for? Why is he mining gas? He has two guys on gas. Yeah, but and he's building a second refinery for, like, no reason. Just, like, <laughs> mass vultures... Although after a while, oh no! Actually, it's only all Goliaths. These Goliaths are gonna run, gotta run. Well, vultures are actually good when the other player has like low number units, so they can't actually deal with the mind diffuse. That's only if so you have like you. You have to like outnumber them with vultures though, and at the. S well, yeah. I guess it's okay that Red Axe is trading vultures for units, but eh, I still would like more academic damage. There we go. Stops the mining, forces them to run back. Actually, Omoy is well, feels he's, like he's, he's doing lost. economic damage by forcing the SCVs to run back, anyways. And uh, yeah, actually, there's a lot less. Uh, Red Axe has managed to catch up a lot in terms of SCVs. He's got like a ridiculous amount. Yeah. Whereas Omoy is only like saturated on one base, and the other side is just slowly starting to get saturated again. Like I think the the problem was Omoy didn't make any tanks. So these vultures kind of hurt. Well, it is hard to punch out tanks. Oh no, he's got some tanks now, but eh, one tank against like ten vultures, not a good idea. Although he's actually doing pretty good. Oh, he's gonna try and drill. Oh, uh oh, uh, it's kind of scary drilling with SCVs against vultures, and especially when you're under tank well, fire. As long as, as long as he had nothing to activate it, like Goliath. I think it's fine. I don't know why he's making so many Goliaths though. He should just like make more vultures and tanks. Yeah. Well, it's not like Red Axe is actually going any air units. Goliaths, I don't feel like they're, they're just not that good against. Yeah, Goliaths are actually. They're only uh, there think, really for. I find the, them actually uh, kind of like wasteful in gas. Unless yeah. they have like mass race or something or mass dropships. They're only there to like prevent wraiths and. Uh, yeah. Dropships. You don't build them. You don't build them in TVT. <laughs> they're not fast and they're not very uh, economical. They don't have enough damage. Oh, actually, why is there a random dropship here? What red axis? Oh my god, he's gonna drop it. He's got two tanks. Oh, the two tanks! 
<laughs> he doesn't even realize it was just it was just uh, the auto auto escape thingy by the dropship, and clearly it didn't fly far enough. Uh, somehow Red Axis was trying to build third base, but it got denied. I haven't even really. I also noticed that uh, both players got early uh, arm race, but aren't actually researching. Uh, armory. I think Red Axis armory was like because he was opening two um two fat vultures. The armory is just in case that suddenly the uh, Omoy went like fat port or double port type of thing. So well, it's he like saw he the can pop out. But he did, yeah. No, 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 no. But this was before like it was like all the way back in the openings. Like he uh, Red Axis got that armory really fast. It was almost like, as if know, like his, yeah. But like if you're gonna get an army that fast, you might as well get plus one. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, that too. Yaddles had a lot of gas banked up, so clearly yeah, lacking like... by Red Axis there. Yeah. Oh. Fighting seems to have slightly calmed down. I still don't see tank lines. I want to see tank lines. I say that too, but in my own TVTs, I can't even make tank lines. Well, I don't know. Looks like Red Axis is taking a lot of damage on his vultures. And, uh,. Although it's mostly vultures, he still has a decent. He where's his tanks? He has, he has a, a pretty good tank count. He has a very good tank to, count, except he is going over to. I don't know where his tanks are going. They're not exact. They're not what? These I vultures. Because uh, the tank number isn't high enough to like set up a siege line. You should. But he's trying to like pressure the third. You only need three tanks to make a line. Because yeah, three tanks are pretty good. Uh oh, uh, siege up. This is where Red Axis needs to siege up. Not just a move. Oh, His tanks are a little clump, but eh, I guess it'll be okay. Uh, Omoy doing the uh, seeing the siege up and realizing he has like a one to two tank count compared to Red Axis backs off. He has a lot of Goliaths though. That's Okay, until they run into tanks, cause then that's it's not okay, cause they just die. Here, explosions. I don't know where. They're just blowing up mines right now. Oh, okay. Cause I was like, what the hell? Anyways, tank count. Um. Okay, so Red Axis has managed to pick up his third base. He's just mining the gas, which is more important thing resource, anyways. Omoy needs a third base, but for some reason he's mineral starved. I don't know where his minerals are going into, or he just doesn't have a high SCV count. He doesn't have, yeah, he doesn't have a high SCV oh, count. He, he has, stopped uh, making SCVs a long time ago. He has like no SCVs, and then Red Axe is on the air, has like way too many SCVs. But, wow. I don't know, this but, this army by uh, Omoy is actually, even though it looks like he has very little food, this is a scary looking army. And yeah. then Red Axe is just like a little blob of useless stuff doing nothing. Unless his re rally. Nope, actually, I feel like Red Axe almost has like a 60 food lead in uh, SCVs. I don't think uh, Red Axe's uh, tank line actually does anything. Oh, uh, he's gonna try and drop. Omoy's gonna oh. try and break this. It's gonna be sick. But at the same time, so are sieged tanks. And Omoy just doesn't have enough tanks to bust through. And Oh, actually, a lot of uh, Red Axe's stuff were in his own dropship, so he manages yeah, to clean well. that uh, attack very well. And that was a pretty good attempt by uh, Omoy, since the ta uh, Red Axe's tanks were cloned, but he just didn't have enough units. And he just needed Red way more jobs. units. Omoy, oh, now right after Red Axe cleans up the uh, army, he's gonna go search for hidden expansions. Oh, he did actually miss Rally. He was sending vultures to the bottom left location, but they stopped and then they just ran back again. So, whatever. Now Red Axis is turn to try and bust this. There's actually not enough tanks. There's only one siege, so they can actually bust this. But yeah. there's mines. I don't know whose mines they are. Oh, actually, no, those are the those are the blue mines. Those are the blue mines. Alright, and now here comes that supposed like terrain advantage. The supposed terrain advantage that Terrans get. Like if you look at the choke of the natural, it's like very thin compared to like how wide the on top of the map is so you can never get a good arc compared to the high ground Whoa, so if like the life. person on the top of the ramp sets it up properly it's like you're always trading bad badly that it would be indeed 
And I'm going to turn off a couple more stuff to make it less, slightly less laggy. I actually can't even see <laughs> how much I'm dropping, or like how many frames I'm dropping. But, it shouldn't uh, be too bad, the chat hasn't said anything, so. That's true. Oh, but Omoi being the uh, very Terran-like, puts a bunch of tanks on his cliff, Red Axes can't even crawl up. This would be a good time for vol uh, Wraiths, just like picking around. Yeah. Oh no, just as I say that, like, four Goliaths pop out and they would have, like, <laughs> shot on all the rays. Ah, uh, Red Axis well, needs to, uh, he Red needs Axis to send vultures. A lot of, uh, uh, Red Axis has a lot of options right now since he has more tanks. And he has dropped, like, you see the ridge that's outside the main? That's, like, not really a ridge. At the, the top? Like, yeah, at the top side. Where the um, command center right? is? Where you can, like, just plant tanks there. And then you drop... On into their base, so your, tank, oh, okay. your drop is covered by your back tanks. Oh, okay, I see, so I see. it's like super hard to clear out. Oh, I see. Is what I'm saying. Is another reason why this map is T favored. Oh, uh, here comes a drop, and I think Red Axis scanned it, but oh boy, I think he was actually just trying to drop the main, but he managed to like just like suddenly run into this, and GG by Omoy realizes he can't beat it, or at least his secret expansion has been found. And yep. that puts and that puts courage up to O. Woo! Go courage. Where's my scoreboard? Game three was the one by tonight, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna say yes because it's the same map, and I put a dummy. Yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put a dummy in there somewhere, and I just don't remember where it went. Ended up. All right, so that's where it was. So, okay, so apparently for this one tonight, it was game tonight against was a Napoleon. Yeah, t game three was a walkover because tonight tried to look for Napoleon, and Napoleon didn't look for him. Or something like that. I don't know. I think the exact number was like four times. Three. I like they scheduled four different times, but then Napoleon missed the schedule time four times. So. Yay! So Courage wins, but because it's D-Ranks Team League and you get for points, um, you play all five. Yeah, that and more people get to play anyways. So we will see how many. Uh, whether or not SK can at least make it look like it was close, or will Courage finish it off? Is this game four? Okay, well, let's game four. In the top yeah. left hand corner, we have Relentless. Another uh, Courage pickup this season. Yeah. It feels like we're such scumbags, randomly picking up new players. Without like letting other Not people really random. I don't even see like other teams like pick up new players. Maybe I just don't pay attention, but they do. They do? They like pick up team players Sometimes. from other teams? Give me an example to make us look not as uh, bad. they picked up uh was it Despa picked up Ali G and more and more. Yeah, but that's because they posted. That's different. This was that's like this was like all behind the scenes suddenly like when people announce lineups for the next sign up event they're like oh we have these players by the way sneaky sneaky trades anyways uh, on the bottom right um, right hand corner we have oh right another new player in the scene ah yeah. actually yeah he's actually one of the better him. players I think he uh, said he was C- minus, and he got 150 games so I expect to see some Pretty good Zerg out of him. Coming from the Zerg that just dodges every matchup except ZVZ. Hmm. Relentless. What team did he used to be on? Was it Ace? Uh, Relentless used to be on Ace, I believe. He was the one that said he didn't want to join Courage because he wanted to stay in Ace, and then all of a sudden he was in Ace. Or, I mean, in Courage. I was so confused. Because I thought we were trying to get Dark Nat Hunter, but then apparently he didn't want to join because he's a scumbag. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. But, with these new two Terrans, I don't have to play anymore, yay! Because I suck now. 
I was actually thinking about streaming some Brood War today, but I ended up playing CS instead. That's pretty much standard. Yeah, it's pretty standard. But I mean, eh, why would I? I don't know. It just doesn't feel like. I don't know. It just doesn't feel as. Well, not at least. At least you know how I feel when when Gur joined. I, I don't have to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> and yet you always want to play. So like, I don't get that. Like, makes no sense. No, I don't, I don't want, always want to play. I only play in uh, individual tournaments. You just play like the first game today. Oh, because I was available, and it's before midterms, so. <laughs> Clearly, even though I think you're forgetting the uh, start of school midterms. Uh, yeah, because uh, that OCam man, that OCam. OCam, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty hard. But analytical cam is like anal. It's Those the labs, best. Man. No, it's the They're best. Real anal. Oh, are your labs also be like you have to be within this? You have yeah, to be, you have like, to within, be within like. Are you doing a bunch of titrations and stuff too? Zero. Are you yeah. doing all titrations? Oh, I love titrations. Oh. I, loved, I like titrations too, but I had to be fucking careful. Or yeah, my that's the whole. Turns from 100 percent to like zero in like. Oh, so your so your school so your labs are actually pretty much identical to mine, because yeah, except for I do it in four hours, like four hour labs, and it's like. Yeah, I did four hour labs too. Oh, <sighs> I don't get this. Actually, yeah, no. Actually, yeah, they were four, three or four hour labs, actually. I don't remember. No, like, standard chem labs are three at my school, and then at analytical chem is four. Mm. Anyways, back to this game. There's nothing interesting. One's going three hatch, the other's going... Well, I, I have to say, since I do three hatch differently... How'd you do three hatch? That... Wait, how, okay, okay. What gas did O'Right go on? He, I think that's the question. Is what he did. I think that was the one that uh, Gur is actually, like, the best, wasn't it? Oh, no, he said it was the best until he realized that my way was better. No way, you're putting words in his mouth. I don't no. I don't remember no. this. I'm no, pretty no, no, sure he said, said your way was terrible. No. Oh, and, and Gur just left too, Shots so... Gur just left, so he can't even defend himself. So therefore, we're going to no, have to no, put that like, up. He does it a different way, though. I don't know. I'm pretty like, sure the he, last follows, he follows it up with the pl early plus one carapace, which almost mirrors a Terran plus one attack. Just so his mid game is a lot stronger. Are you talking plus, plus one air or plus one ground? No, plus one like ground. Oh, okay. Because yeah, and then the early because the early minerals allows you to get a bunch of mineral stuff. Early. What is relentless opening? Is like. It's like uh, I don't get this. This feels even late for a three racks tech. He's doing three racks tech. But it feels late for a three racks tech because you know you should have your three raxes by now. I think. Mm. Pretty sure you should have three. You should actually be getting your second rack. I actually, I, don't, I actually don't remember how you do three racks tech. I guess there's different ways to do this. But I think it's from two ACAD. You do it from two like one racks fast expand into two ACAD. Yeah, so like two raxes and then you get the academy, right? Yeah. Well, he got the. Academy, I noticed then the third racks and then the eBay. I noticed he got the academy before the second and third racks. So yeah, I don't know. Just saying. He's got Anyways, a. Uh, Relentless doesn't like to do plus one five racks for whatever reason. I don't know why. Because he doesn't like to win. <laughs> Pretty much. Not gonna lie, plus one five racks is like so awesome, and then I end up still I sucking. Think, I think with it. like preemptively making four seconds just because he thought it was gonna be plus one. Five racks, but against three racks tech, you actually don't need that many sunkins. Probably, probably don't like, even need sunkins. Probably maximum round two. Oh, okay. He actually depends. If they try to go for a bust with fire bats, then you probably need more. I feel like he messed up his uh, timing a little bit because he's not getting nine mutas. He only managed to get six. Whereas on the other hand, oh, he only managed to get six because I think he made too many sunkins. And but like as you can see from his like mineral count, it's like pretty starved. So. Okay, sorry, I'm back. I had a random phone call, which turns out to be just a stupid advertisement. Yeah. Stupid advertisements. Like, if you if you go 16 gas, you can afford an early plus one carapace and an early earlier third without delaying your muta timing. 
or your, your meters that much, and the lurker timing is identical. So I think the trade-off of having a later gas like that is a lot better than going an early gas Holy for slightly turrets. earlier meters. I guess, actually, yeah, three racks are supposed to get a lot of missile turrets just because you don't have the racks at the pump out. I feel yeah. like the factory should have been a lot earlier as well. It's just like something about this build that's like slow. I'm not sure. Yeah, the the, the racks definitely should, or the factory should definitely be a lot faster. Yeah, because otherwise you're not you're actually not even gonna hit the uh, the the timing, uh, the timing for hive. Because I think Ori can pretty much almost get hive. He can like just all he has to do now is drop down that uh, queen's nest and he'll get hive. Here's yeah, the time the timing was uh, you get three tanks in a vessel. Oh man, attack. these vultures! I mean, not vultures. Oh, Mutalisk taking excess of damage. No, what? Oh no! Wow. Okay, that, that was, was not micro at all. <laughs> that was not the most ideal micro. Um, there's two starports. Okay, so there's two starports. It looks like Relentless is trying to go for an SK tear, and there's something else building under here. I can't even no, tell. No, that's a uh, three, three port. What is he trying to build? Oh, what? Uh, gonna go for like a Wraith Valkyrie transition or Wraith or something? I think yeah, I think it's Wraith. What? Because you can't you can't support it if it's vessels if I. But why Wraith? They don't like I don't uh, know. Race? I don't know. Late oh. game is like so, oh wow, that was a nice scan. You just like saw everything. Realizes that there are no lurkers. Because uh, the race like. Like, Zerg doesn't have enough gas to deal with the race. To, like, make Scourge as well? But they have Scourge. To make Scourge and Lurkers off two gas. This is, like, a problem. Since oh, okay. you get a later third, you get a later third gas. Which means you can't make as much Scourge, Muta, Lurkers, etc. And tech up at the same time to Hive. Oh, Relentless looks like he's about to move out, but there are Lurkers, so I don't think this bus is gonna... This bus is either going to end very terribly for Relentless, or if nothing will happen because he just can't do anything about it. Yeah. I think he was trying to stop the third base from uh, popping out, but he couldn't even find it. I don't think he realizes at the bottom left corner. Oh, he's, he's just going to go triple star. Whoa. Triple star for, for vessels. No. He's going to go like, what? He can't oh, go he's triple. Just, he's, two, he's building two science facilities. <laughs> Wait, two science facilities? What the f- what is Relentless going? Is he going like? Can you? No. <laughs> you can. I don't think there, you is... can't support it off two gas. You can't support three vessel, three port vessels off. What? He's crazy. He's crazy. Man. I guess he just wants a really uh, big vessel cloud fast, and then he he, gets... he got two science facilities, but they're not upgrading, so they're not doing their job. And then here comes the lurkers. Oh no! Where's his army? Oh no, his army got like caught off guard or something while we were talking about the three vessels, and then now there's just lurkers in his base. And that's like not where you want lurkers to be. No! No! All oh, the screams of Terrans! Oh my gosh! I. I don't know. I don't know what happened. I feel like his arm. Well, even though, even though I say army, it was only like a little squad of dudes. I think. I think he might have cut production to get three ports and two science facilities. Well, he has three vessels and they're badass, except they don't have any upgrades because Yeah, he doesn't have He has two science facilities and none of them are upgrading. Uh oh, this is really bad for uh relentless. Oh now they're upgrading. But it's a little too late. <laughs> oh man. This is like the worst feeling in the world. There's some lurkers. GG Man, that that like in that reminded me of that triggered a lot of uh, nightmares, post traumatic stress from uh, me playing TVC. I think uh, I think if he wanted like an early vessel cloud, there's better builds than what he did for it. I'm not really sure what he was trying to do, but okay. That like, makes uh, that puts um, courage up three one. Oh no no no. That yeah, puts no. Sun yeah, Con yeah. on the board. And, um, yeah. Do, 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 do. On I don't know. The... Like, if you wanted, like, uh, early Vessel Cloud, I've seen, like, I've seen Walla do this against me, which is basically 
they they one they they do one racks and then they get a factory. I've tried that and then once. A, and a starport. But the thing is, is if Zerg calls you out, you just die. You just die. But if they don't call what you out, what map is this? Oh, it's and you win. So, in for our final match of these two, we have on the bottom right hand corner XKCD, aka the team captain of uh, of SunCon. He oh, will I be thought Pebble was a captain. Uh, Pebble, I think, put more of a... I guess they're both captains. They're like co-captains. Kind of like how Sentinel okay. and uh, Prophis or and Echo are like co-captains. And so... I thought I thought oh, that... I thought there was a match to... Just... No, no, never mind. <laughs> it never happened, yep. apparently. Never mind. So, in the bottom right-hand corner, in the... We'll give him 5 o'clock again. Just like back right is all... Or bottom right is usually... Five o'clock, anyways. And in the ten o'clock position, as the green Protoss, whoops, not Protoss, we have Sentinel, the current, uh, the acting captain, I think, at this, at the time of this game. Yeah. Uh, because Echo is off fighting grizzly bears and, uh, polar bears. Polar bears. No, mostly grizzly bears and killer whales. And random birds that I don't know how he ever found out the name to, but apparently he did in Alaska. So yeah, that was cool. And Sentinel, since it's a PVT, obviously is going to go 10-15 gate. There's with the like, gas deal. With, with the gas. The ga oh my god, with the gas deal. <laughs> XKCD. I don't even know if he was trying to. Uh... It actually, it does look like he was all, he was thinking about going th rack CC. Yeah. So he's not as worried about the gas can, deal. Can you do the, the complete nat wall off on this map? It looks like it. I don't play this map enough to like even know what the hell is a proper wall off on this map. Like, it actually looks okay from his point because like you can just put his command center there and then he'll put his bunker a little bit up. It'll sort of restrict some dragoons from shooting it, but eh, it's a little iffy. And yeah, there's one idle SCV on strike here by XKCD. But oh, actually, recently, even against gas deals, I for some reason like end up getting my gas stolen twice because I forget that the probe is still in my base while I'm destroying the uh, assimilator. He actually should be destroying the assimilator soon because actually no, he's just building bunkers. Wow, this is a little preemptive there. I feel. I think he's just building the bunker so he can just expand. Yeah, it's behind. way too early to build a bunker. Like, the Dragoons aren't even out yet. Uh, the first Dragoon is probably about to be out soon. Wait, what? Oh my god, Sentinel did not go 10 15 gate. This is like. Holy shit. That was like mind blowing. <laughs> this is like mind blowing. It's, it's a Sentinel? <laughs> it's like, I think we should like check for Smurfs whether or not this was actually Sentinel playing because not 1015 but... gate. <laughs> Before you get all excited though. Before you get all excited, he is getting range. Uh, so yeah, but maybe he's gonna have proxy gates. I don't know. Man, you but say you that. You usually don't get range and then expand off one gate. That's kind of weird. Don't you? I'm pretty sure Protosses get like. They go like one gate expand. The only thing here that looks like he's gonna proxy. I think, I think he can do that without range. The only thing that looks like he's gonna proxy, aside from the proxy pylon, was that there was only two py pylons in uh, his main base when he should have three. But hi. XKCD says hi because he sees the uh, proxy pylon, so he's yeah. gonna know what's up. Usually yeah. Sentinel, when I play him, he leaves the game at this point because I found his proxy and he leaves the game. <laughs> But Sentinel won't be doing that because he feels confident that even though his proxy has been scouted, that he will win. That and he was playing this at game time, so we w we weren't sure if we needed to win or not. That and it's a game. You don't actually just leave anyways, even if your proxies do get scouted. You just fight on. And then fantasy GG. Or even that. or even <laughs> just build the proxy in his face if he's confident enough, but. At this the moment, uh, has his oh his goon range is about to finish, and these are going to be really annoying for the Terran. And XKCD should expect it soon, or at least should have 
Uh, does he see Dragoons? Okay, well now he sees Dragoons. He needs well, to pull us. Like he's over. actually expanding behind this, so. That's good. I, I, he totally should have expanded this a lot earlier, but he needs SCVs like now, uh, not just one, like the rest of these. Player. Okay, there we go. All right, this is now just too many, but that's fine. Um, for those new players, although I don't think there's actually that many new players that even watch this, but um, um, a tip to early budding Terrans to avoid death by dragoons. It's a lot, um, SCVs repair buildings at about a rate of one SCV per Dragoon, so if there's yep. two Dragoons, you use two SCVs to, uh, repair. Although his supply depot is going to get destroyed, though, because he's not repairing that. Yep. But then the Protoss will try and do some fancy tricks, like wait until you repair up to max so your SCVs stop moving, and then they'll shoot again, and I'll just do, like, these fancy little hold position annoying or, tricks, but... Or they just show two Dragoons, and all of a sudden they bring the rest of them. Or they do that, yeah. Or they build a zealot to tank the initial shots, and then they just go. Like, I guess. Or they have dragoons, and finish. then while you're too busy repairing, like, suddenly DTs show up in your base, and you have no, uh. no, uh, missile turrets or anything. Or if you don't. Oh no! Oh, it's it's SCVs! Oh no! <laughs> SCVs! They went on strike, and then. He's not doing anything. They're not doing. Oh, he's gonna send them into attack! Sentinel doesn't even realize he took out. The this is how BS Protoss is. Like Sentinel didn't even realize he took out the bunker. He's just like, oh, sup? The bunker's dead. So like, I guess I'll go and kill you now. And then XKCD is here, is like frantically trying to stay alive, because he's just like, ah, oh, shit, I lost my bunker. And he actually almost finishes building another bunker. <laughs> wow. But oh, the beta is coming. He says this is embarrassing. <laughs> Forgot to keep repairing. Yep, that's kind of important to remember. GG! <laughs> Sentinel takes GG. game 5, and Courage finishes week 3, 4 and 1 against Sun Con. Yep. Oh, Courage actually busted hey, out all the. Courage actually busted out the uh, top uh, lineup for this week, actually. Really? Yeah, because I didn't play, Kaze didn't play. And then it was like you. But Echo wasn't playing. Let the, 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 like that can't be helped. You're not gonna like drag Echo to be like, even no, though you're in Alaska no, that's, playing. That's still, not, that's still not like. It was like the top lineup that we had available. Apparently, I think it was also like the I'll only people that, that wanted to that. play. It was also probably the only people that wanted to play as well, because yeah, I didn't want to play at that point. 